Hi, it's Angel Shaver, Stampin' Up! Independent Demonstrator from Kansas, and I am back live with you today after being an on stage last week. I have some things to show you. I didn't grab the bag with the projects that we created, so I'll have to show you those next week. But I do have the stamp sets that I earned in Prize Patrol or for just registering. It came in my bag. So I will show you those. I'm having a weird light shining issue. Anyway. So I have dropping things on Clifford, poor Clifford. I have this one, the Lovely Wishes set. Can't really imagine how beautiful this is until you get to play with it. So stay tuned. There will be some samples with this set. And I got a um, picture perfect birthday to make some great birthday cards and finally i got the perennial birthday set and there is actually a kit that goes with the stamp set and we will be having a kit class probably january so stay tuned you will be able to pre-purchase the kit and bring it and use my stamps and ink and we'll get things all ready for birthdays. I think there are 20 birthday cards in the kit, but the great thing is there are 12 dividers for each month and you write down people's birthdays and the dates so you don't forget anyone. And we are going to work on the third card in with the Night in Bethlehem stamp set today. But I just want to remind you that I will not be here next week. It is Thanksgiving in the U.S., and so I will be celebrating with my family. So I will see you live in two weeks when we do the fourth and final card in the Night in Bethlehem series. And the December featured stamp set will be Star of Light. So if you want to play along, make sure you let me know. You can comment here or you can email me at angelstamps at hotmail.com. I'm going to turn you down and we will uh, get ready to create a call. All right. It is a mess in here. So, oh, I just found it. I was saying I couldn't find my bone folder, but I did find it. So what we have started with is very vanilla cardstock, a eight and a half by 11 piece of paper cut in half. I'm going to move you just a little bit this way. Um, hamburger style, so that makes it four and a quarter, no, eight and a half by five and a half. And so we are going to fold that. And those are inches. And then use the bone folder to just sharpen up the crease. All right. And then for this card, we are using the Fresh Fig as the card front. And this is cut at five and a quarter by four. 
and I'm going to go ahead and glue that on there using the multi-purpose liquid glue. And then we will be stamping on a piece of the very vanilla to go on top of that. And I've forgotten the dimensions. So I will check real quick. They are about three and a half by four and three quarters. I still will need to clean up in here. And I will be getting a stamp block and stamping. I'm thinking it looks like I masked that a little bit, but I don't feel like masking today. That is not on my agenda, so I'm dropping everything off the table. Okay, so I will be just putting the Rejoicing in Christ stamp on my stamp block and getting the fresh fig I think yeah my brain is not functioning the way it should today I think I need a nap okay rejoicing in Christ and I will wipe off the edge because it looks like I've gotten a little extra ink on there and we are going to stamp it about here. And there we have Rejoicing in Christ. And the next thing we're going to do is take some of our fresh, big, finely woven ribbon and tie it around the very vanilla. So I did not pre-measure. If you got a card kit, you should already have a pre-measured piece in your card kit. And so I'm going to just cut that off. And we're going to hope that I cut it correctly. I think I did. And I'm just going to tie a knot. This is what I get for not wanting to be wasteful. I end up with not quite enough to make this the easy task. Right. Tie it again. Make the knot. It's easier if you cut a lot of excess, but since I really love my ribbons and I'm not really in the mood, I don't know why this is smearing purple, but I'm going to have to flip this. Actually, I'm probably going to have to just cut another one. Do I have any vanilla laying around? 
maybe. I don't know if I have any big enough. I do not. So I'm just going to flip this and we'll use the back and either cover up those dots with ribbon or with rhinestones here in a minute. Talk amongst yourselves while I try to get this room tied. These are the moments where I think editing my videos and fast forwarding through this craziness might be helpful but that's not what I do and how I do this so you get to watch me struggle to tie a ribbon and it may be in all of my concern not to be wasteful I'm going to have to be wasteful and just cut another ribbon a longer ribbon or maybe not, since I'm out of ribbon. This might be the right size. Let me see. will work and then I will have one more piece of the fresh fig to use on something else a little bit smaller at a later date so there I have tied the fresh fig and I'm going to trim the ends And then what I did on the sample to keep those ribbon ends in place was just put a little glue dot under each of the ends to hold it down. So that's what we're going to do here. I'm going to get a glue dot. on these and for those of you who watch my videos I am working on planning out the stamp sets that I will be using next year I am planning January through May at this point and I don't have it anything set in stone i do have a few chosen but i also have a couple of months that i haven't decided at all about so i would like you to go through the annual catalog and look and decide if there are any of the stamp sets that you would like me to do for one of the featured stamp sets of the month between January and May. I'm trying to do this again. All right. And then we are going to use the multi-purpose liquid glue and get this on there. Or if there are any specific types of um, card sets you would like featured, different themes, different holidays, 
between January and May. We can talk about that too. And then to finish off the front of this card, we are going to add just a few little rhinestones. Sometimes the positioning of my rhinestones or other elements get chosen because of where my ink left little splotches. And then I try to put an extra one or two to make it look like it was designed to be that way. I'm going to put one of the larger ones over here. All right, so there we have the front of our card. Really simple. It just says rejoicing in Christ. And I am choosing not to put any sentiment on the inside of this one. On the sample card, I did put the wishing you a season of joy as we remember the night when love came down to earth and became our song of celebration with some stars and so this one the sample is definitely a christmas card there is nothing about this design that says it has to be a Christmas card. So I'm going to wait and do the inside of this card after I determine exactly what it is I would like to use this for. So I'm just going to come back up here and say goodbye and I hope you enjoyed this and if you live in the United States have a very happy Thanksgiving don't forget to be grateful for life every single day um I know that this is the time of year when gratitude and thankfulness become a natural part of our conversation and keep watching my blog because sometime very soon I will be doing a blog post about why gratitude is a part of my everyday life all year long. Not just in November, not just at Thanksgiving. And how I hope that I can use my Stampin' Up! business to help you guys make gratitude a part of your lives every day, all year long as well. So I will see you back here live in two weeks as we do our final card in the Night in Bethlehem stamp set. Bye!